Did you see my message, Dee Dee? Hi, Dee Dee. <laughs> That's what you should say to me when I barge into your stream first and say, I'm early. What do I get? You get no perks. Nothing. Get over yourself. That's what you get. Hi, everybody. If you're watching on YouTube, scub forward until you see something um, fun start happening. Not even a cookie. Oh, don't talk about cookies, Flo. Oh, my gosh. Rats. Yeah, oh, maybe you'll get a perk. I don't know. You can leave early today. How about that? <laughs> Dina can leave early today if she wants. Anyway, um, I went. I took Robert to pick up his car because he had some brake work done in between Didi's stream and my stream. And um, it's just a cruddy little auto repair shop, but I really like the guy and his wife was there today. And when I walked in, there was boxes of Girl Scout cookies and I didn't know if they had young children or what. And he's, his wife wasn't in the office and he said, yeah, he she bought every box of Girl Scout cookies that this little girl had to help her sell them. So, you know me, I, um, I bought them. Um, so let me say hi to everybody. Hi, Flo. Hi, Barbara. Um, hi, Sharon. Um, let's see. We'll go down here. Hi, Ann. Hey, bossy butt. Bossy butt. I saw a t-shirt that I, I'm not going to order it because it comes from one of those Chinese warehouse distribution crap that you see you get ads for it incessantly it said i'm not bossy i'm aggressively helpful so from now on you're not bossy you're aggressively helpful okay there you go i softened it for you it won't last hi terry brett You just ordered this book. You're going to love this book, but I'm actually going to work out of another book. But the other book made me think of this book, so I'm going to show it too. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Dorothy. You're still struggling, Devin. When I was sick in January, it took forever. I mean, hi, Missy. Hi, Dawn. I'm going down chat here. Hi, Linda. Give Tim a hug. Aggressively helpful, right, Dee Dee? And honest to God, if it wasn't from one of those Chinese warehouse crap companies, I probably would have ordered it. But I can't do that. I just can't do it. So, hi, Pam. What do you mean? I didn't win the scavenger hunt? No, you didn't. Raul won. If you weren't here last Monday, Raul won. He's the luckiest guy. Dorothy, you need to step aside because Raul will win everything now. Um, hi, Ego Brain. I'm so jealous of your name. Um, all right. I think I'm getting down to the end here. Okay. Anyway, so, yeah, I'm glad I rem remembered to tell Bossy Butt about the T-shirt. Um, but anyway, yeah, I, I'm going to work out of the, um, 365 days of feel good art. I bought this, I think Dee, Dee bought it first and then I saw it and I set something on it and it, oh, it's a label or something. Anyway, um, I'm going to work out of this and I was trying to decide, do I want to just use the prompts and work separately or work in the book? And the only time I've ever worked in the book was, um, for Reckless Journal. And it was just kind of like a playground for me because I didn't care. Hi, Marguerite. Um, I didn't care what I did or anything. But I have to say, this wreck this journal because I tend to be a little bit um, perfectionist. And you all don't really know that about me. <laughs> but, but this really helped me with that. You know, I want, still wanted to do good. But it wasn't that big a deal because it was in a book. It was going to sit on a shelf. So um, I'll just flip through it in case nobody, you you haven't seen this jury, journal. Carrie Smith has a bunch of different books out. And they're all, they all deal with creativity in some sort. Um, this one, I have to say, and I have several of them. Um, this one, I have to say, was my favorite. Now, there were some things, prompts in here that I just could not do. 
Didi, go to the corner and sit next to some other smart ass. Um, so let me flip through because this book, I have to say, I enjoyed it. I loved it. And whenever I didn't know what to do, I could pick up this book. And you can see there's tons of stuff I haven't done. But she included all these pages in the back of colorful paper. So if you needed something for a prompt, it was right there in the journal. Write a list of more ways to wreck this journal using color as a tool. Okay. And um, just said fill in these shapes with color. So that was easy enough. You could just sit and watch TV and do it. And that's usually what I was doing. If it looks too pretty, please destroy. Ha ha, fooled you. It's so ugly, it stays. That was my note to carry. Fooled you. Cut slits. I don't know who Lucio Fontana is, but anyway. Um, this was add a new color to this page every day for a month. So I don't know if I cheated and did all of them and then just wrote the days in. I might have cheated on this. I don't know. Chances are I might have. This one I had to tape for some reason. Fold this page several times, make cuts with scissors and unfold. That's something I just probably would never have done in a journal, but it's kind of cool, right? Cover this page in tape, create some kind of pattern. I have, I, I've got a bookmark that I'm going to do it because I have tons of washi tape. I just haven't done it yet. This one was squirt liquid here. Try using your mouth. I did not use my mouth and I don't even know what I squirted, but that's what the page came out like. Smush something colorful onto this page. I wouldn't mind doing that. Slide the journal. This page face down along a long, down a long hallway. Well, if I did that, which I didn't, it would still look the same because my hallways are clean. Hi, Barbie. Turn the book into a shoe. I'm not going to do that. Roll the journal down a large hill. I'm not doing any of this outside. Hide this page in your neighbor's yard. Now, I have pretty cool neighbors that I could write some secret message and go hide it in their yard. I could do that and then ask them to return it. Figure out a way to freeze this page. That one's doable. Float this page. Collect dead bugs here. Now that I'll draw dead bugs, <laughs> but I'm not going to go collect dead bugs. Splatter. Yes, you can. I could splatter. That would not bother me. Figure out a way to attach these two pages together. This is a stain log. Close the journal. Write, scribble something on the edges. Sleep with the journal. What the hell? <laughs> I'm not going to sleep with no journal. I barely will sleep with Robert. Hide a secret message somewhere in this book. See page 65. Well, now we have to go to 65 and see what I put in there. Probably has something to do with bossy butt. One, Eileen is crazy. <laughs> that was my secret message, apparently. But these are stickers you found on bot fruit. This probably <clears throat> generated um, the prompt for the scavenger hunt. Because I started doing that and then just thought, oh, I'm just going to do it for scavenger hunt, too. Um, work only with colors you hate. So I just did like a neurographic drawing. And these I did, neuro, um, the Derwent graph, graph tints. And, but I love all the colors. That's the problem is I like all the colors. Um, document time passing. Um, I, it looks like maybe I did this. 12, 15, 17. I don't know. Happy New Year. So uh, apparently I did. 818, happy birthday, my sister. Happy happy 32nd Anne. I don't know, 816. Oh, that would have been my 32nd anniversary. It was my 32nd anniversary because it was 2018. Jim was still alive. Okay, and this was cut strips and do weaving. And I love this. Give away your favorite page. No. Write with a pen in your mouth. That's stupid. Randomly cut out some colors from a magazine. Um, a page of four-letter words. 
I did all good ones. I didn't do any of the bad ones, I don't think. Arse. Is arse a bad one? Oh, I did right shit. <laughs> but most of them I did nice words, you know? Make smudges of color, rub with your fingers, add water. I don't know. These are sparkly, so I'm not sure what product I used for that. I wish I'd written it down. Space for negative comments. Shells behave like a cruel, evil bitch toward Ange. <laughs> Create a nonstop line. This I did. This whole page is a nonstop line. That was fun. I really loved it. Shot is a stinky one. This page is a sign. What do you want it to say? Bite me. Find a way to wear the journal. Create a color explosion. Tear up some colored paper. Cover the page. I don't know what I did with it. This feels like acrylic, and then there's some gold on it, so who knows. Punch this page after dipping your fist in something. That's not going to happen. Draw lines using abnormal writing utensils. Resist. So anyway, you guys get an idea of what it's about. So now I'm going to go ahead and I am going to work in the actual book. Oh, this is a good one. Huh. Glue random items here. Things you find in your couch, on the street, etc. So I just glued random crap there. Let the colors run. This was a fun page. I remember doing it. And I don't know if I did any of these on stream or not. A page of good thoughts. Cut strips, dip them in colors, glue them back in. Scribble wildly using only borrowed pens. Well, I'd have to go down and get them off Robert's desk because he steals pens everywhere he goes. This was cut up tiny bits and glue them here. This one feels really good because I use matte medium. Yeah, this one feels really good. Place for your grocery list. Use this as a te test page for every color you can get your hands on. So who knows? Yeah, you guys, the eclipse is going to um, start here in about 15 minutes or so. And we're very close to the path. So depending, I may turn off my lights, pull up the blind and let you guys see what the eclipse looks like at my house. And I'll be able to tell by the window in the back. Um, <clears throat> make a paper chain. I could do that. Tear out the page, crumple into a ball, place journal into a triangle shape, kick the ball through the triangle. Attempt it on stream, fail, kick the book with my fat foot. <laughs> What's this? Pretend you are doodling on the back of an envelope while on the phone. Sarcasm because beating the shit out of people is illegal. Apparently this snark thing has been going on a long time. I speak, speak fluent sarcasm. Be strong. I whisper to my coffee. When something goes wrong in your life, just yell, plot twist, and move on. So that was a fun one. I haven't looked at this journal in years. Pick up the journal without you. How would you know if you did that or not? Tie a string to the spine of this book. Swing wildly. Let it hit the walls. Are you out of your mind? Write some thoughts. Cover up these thoughts with the color of your choice. I think I am the luckiest girl alive, but I didn't cover it up. The coffee whisper. Tongue painting. Eat some colorful candy. Lick this page. I think I just drew the tongue. <laughs> Okay, I did take this page out, apparently, and wrap my cell phone. This was tear out and crumble, which I did. So that's why a lot of these pages are glued back in, because I did take them out and then put them back. Mix so many colors, they turn into mud. Now this is but ugly. Document the colors of your dinner. So I had pizza for dinner that night, apparently. 
Fill this page with colored circles, as many as you can fit. I could still fit some more on this. But these are the things that I really love. Hi, Tori. Oops. Did it count? Oh, glue staple or tape these pages together. So I did it up in the corner. And I say, dang, what did I get on the book? Tear strips of color, then try some plaid. So I did that. There's some funny drawing that I did. I don't know why it's in there. Throw something, a pencil, or Paul. I drew that. I didn't throw anything. Color the entire page. This hand is for handprints or fingerprints. Um, so I hope the cops never get this page because they have a whole bunch of my fingerprints. Draw fat lines and thin, pushing really hard with the pencil. I use something else. Poke holes in this page. I did that. Color this page red on purpose. Pour, spill, drip, spit, fling, different colored drinks here. I did not do that, but I did do colorful paints. Carry it with you everywhere you go. So I've, I, there's still a ton I could do in this, and I may leave it out. You never know. I might want to work in that again. So this is the book that I'm actually going to work in. And I'll probably get 0.05% of it done as well. And you guys saw this book originally at Dee Dee's and maybe other places. I don't know. But when I saw it, I have the other 365 day books. I did not work in the book. Um, so this one I'm going to um, work in the book. Because it's kind of fun to have that book now all together. Did you buy this book, Sharon? Did you... Um, have you done anything and did you work in the book? So I don't know. When I originally looked at it, I um, put a couple bookmark. Okay. Create a pattern using this grid so that I could do Zentangle on that. And they're probably all much the same. Because I think the hardest part, honestly, is <clears throat> getting over the hump of just going ahead and doing the first one. When the first one's done, the rest get easy. Create a pattern. Create a design on each tile. Okay, so apparently I was in color. Continue drawing lines and then add color to the sections. This could be like neurographic. Oh, now that one I'm kind of partial to right now. But if you guys want, I'll let you pick a page and then I have to do whatever it says, which that's really scary to me. But for you guys, and because today is total eclipse of the sun, Barbara, that's your cue to go ahead and sing. Um, I'll let you guys decide. And, um, well, Didi, you should work along too because... Um, You have the book, too. Do that one sometime today. This one, the Create the Pattern. Months ago, I bought it because Beth's group is working it. Oh, I didn't know Beth was working in it. Thank you, Barbara. All right. I'm going to let, okay. Hey, Bossy Butt, since I pick on you so much, give me a good number, and I'll go see if I want to do that page. I'm not making any crazy promises. And then another thing I did was because I, I actually want everybody to be able to do something creative, right? So I picked my two least expensive. Well, this one was absolutely free because Dee Dee sent it to me, but it's limited palette. It's only got 12 pencils and then these watercolors. And if something needs color, I have to choose between these two products. So I'm working with limited products. And I'm going to have to just do my best with whatever. Okay, Devin's saying 150 Oh, I hope it's not bad. I hope it's not dirty. 150 take some time to write freely. Perhaps describe how art or being creative makes you feel. Okay, we're going to do this one really quick. We'll use... Our handy dandy fountain pen and I'll just write take some time to write freely perhaps describe
I'm going to read it to you and just Hope I can read my writing. And today is 4 8 24. Okay. If you can't read it, it says, if I didn't have art as a hobby, hobby slash passion, I would probably turn on the TV and watch mind altering news programs that lie constantly and make me hate my fellow man. Because I found a group of amazing artists online, I sit around loving life and the fibs. Today is totally clips in parts of America. Hope we all live through it. XOXO. So there you go. Off the top of my head, Devin. <laughs> yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. You can read my writing. But that's honestly, I, I probably would turn on the news and it wouldn't go off all day. I know a lot of people who do that. And then I would believe all that crap that they're spewing out. And pretty soon, I wouldn't like anybody or anything. Right? So here's my free advice. I'll put free advice on this page. Here's some free advice. Turn off the news. Hey, Dee Dee, do you agree with me there? Thanks, Barbara. All right. Flo, give me a number. We're moving on. And later, just to make it more prettier, um, where's my... Woodless color pencils that Dee Dee so generously gifted me. And they're Kohenor products, so I've tried them a little bit. They're probably very good. Because this is my favorite border. Ego brain, hang with me. I'll give free good advice all the time. It's kind of my life's mission is to keep people safe. So just so you guys can see, I just knocked one of the paints out. Awesome. Oh, I didn't wash this brush last time I used it, I guess. And these, um, they're superior watercolors. I got the 42 set of regular colors, and then there's another set of the pastels. Um, I use these for art on the couch all the time. Okay, Flo said 37. Okay, but I'll just show you how I'm going to go ahead and um, finish this page. I won't do it on stream, but I'll make my leaf border. Because I want the book to be fun. 
before Jamie throws it in the dumpster when he cleans out the house. And moves all his crap in here. Okay. So it's good to have just a really cheap crapola set of watercolors um, that you are not so precious that you're afraid to just mess with them. And I don't remember what I paid for these superior ones, but I have to say for Art on the Couch, they're so nice. And um, the back, the very back panel is a little mixing tray. So it's really just, um, it's very compact, very usable. And I'm knocking all the paints out because after you get them wet, the glue doesn't want to stick, but that's fine. I'll glue it back in there later. All right, so now you know how I'll finish that one. All right, and Flo said 37, right? Yep, she said 37. So let's go see what 37 is. Do you have the book and you cheated? Draw your dream house. Well, I'm going to draw the house that I'm living in. Because I like it. My dream house, believe it or not, would not be a mansion, would not be um, <clears throat> would not be fancy, it would not be to impress other people. I want something that is comfortable, easy to maintain, and affordable. That's what I want. So let's uh, draw my dream house. Get a little pencil here. Okay, this is this is for real my house. This is the driveway that you're seeing. Um, no, I didn't leave much room for the house. I need to change that. Sorry, didn't say I couldn't use an eraser. I'll just make the circle drive more like that, even though it's bigger than that. But anyway, and then the carport is here. And if you're looking at the house, of course, this is looking down. Now I'm going to look forward and <laughs> look like this. that actually is recessed. I just don't know how to show it perfectly. Actually, it, this goes up a lot higher, but this will be fine. Okay. Front door is over here, and this is an indoor-outdoor room. I call it the breezeway. And then my utility room and greenhouse is actually over on this side. So if you go out the back door, there's a big patio there, and go around. This is the greenhouse here, and this is a utility room here. And then the front door to my house is actually in on the side over here. I'm going to bring you guys down. You can't hardly see. So, yeah, the front door is actually there. So this is my dream house. And then there's a flower bed here. And there's flower beds over there, too. And then this is a big flower bed up here. 
In fact, you can't hardly see the house because there's a huge oak tree here that covers most of the house. So, but this is all flowers in here. And then this is a detached garage over here, which I'm not allowed in. But your dream house would have a crown room, a place to store all your crowns. Well, if you go in this house about in the middle of the house, there's as you walk in the front door, there's a staircase down stairs to a walkout rec room that goes out to the lake. And if you go in the kitchens on one side, there's a great room on the other side. And then there's a staircase upstairs and upstairs. It's all master suite with a little sitting room. I would turn what is currently now my library into library crown storage. How about that? Is that okay? All right, so let's go ahead. I'll take my um, kneaded eraser. Not really great proportion, but, and then over here, right off, the, we have a parking area over here, and right over here is the tornado shelter, an in-ground tornado shelter. So this is for real. I think if, if I had my way, there are a few things I would change about the house. One on this wall, um, but it's three stories. I would have a fireplace, but the chimney would be enormous because I'd want the fireplace in the great room. I used to, I bought a wood burning stove and put in there but that's how I burned up my vacuum cleaner. <laughs> so there's that. All right. And okay, for this one, well, I limited myself. Okay, we're going to keep our limitations here. Here we go. I'm going to pull out a little bit. and use my handy dandy mixing tray. The color of the house currently, now when I bought this house, it was yellow and blue. It was the most hideous thing you have ever in your life seen. So the first thing we did when we bought it was paint it. And so I'll try and come up with some reasonable facsimile of, um, This isn't a reasonable facsimile, but it's a really pretty um, gray green kind of. Um, and those windows, I need to move them up, so I'm going to erase them. But this is good enough. Oh, and there's a little door up here. I don't know. It's not really a door, but it looks like it from the outside. Like you have a secret entrance, but we really don't have a secret entrance. And I'm going to leave the, um, the big ass oak tree out because it would just be a big ass oak tree in there. But I'm really happy where I live, so this is good. I have to mix a little bit more paint here. I'll try and move this over where you can kind of see.
Actually, that goes over like that. It's somewhat accurate. And then all this is all grass I'm going around down in the back and then the lakes back here. So let's paint the lake in. And actually the lake, I'm going to paint it blue, but it actually should be more green. We'll do blue green. I need a little cheater sheet here to test my colors. Yeah, that's about the color of the lake. Make it a little bit more blue. But everybody always paints their um, lake blue. It's pretty rare to see the lake blue. So out here, the lake would come in. And we live in a cove, so the, the lake actually continues over on this side of the house, too. And if you're looking at the front of the house, you wouldn't be able to see the boat dock. And then you would see the neighbor's trees over here. And there's trees everywhere, tons and tons of trees. Looks like a first grade do grader did this. Hi, Kat. Hi, Stacy. I'm working in 365 days of art, and I'm letting the goofball women here um, choose my subject. Oh, you know what? I need that paint that fell. Let me see if I can find it really easy. So I'm going to have to paint the asphalt. Hmm, wonder where it went. I might have to get out. There it is. I found it. Yay me. Okay, what color did I just get out? And now all these awesome trees are starting to get little leaves on them. And if you're in the South, you're used to seeing a lot of trees with um, flowers. We have a lot of flowering trees down here. And the Bar Bradford pears and the red buds are almost all gone now. Um, and the other trees are coming on, so it's way awesome. All right, let me get the roof on here. The roof is slate gray. After this, I may have to post a picture of the house so you guys don't think I really live in a house that looks like this. <laughs> I think I actually have another drawing of it somewhere. I just can't think right now of where. So my utility room is actually removed from my house, which is awesome. I like that. And then this part of the house has a separate hot water heater and all that stuff. Most of this is going to be painting black. Actually, that I'm just going to paint over it. Um,
because this really is all asphalt out here. Which is okay with me because it keeps some yard crap out of the house. But with Robert around, hmm, kind of hit or miss. And this is on a hill. So when you go in the, dri the driveway that I'm painting right here, you're driving, if you're driving away from the house, you're driving uphill. Because everything's on a hill down to the lake. Are you glad you picked this one, Flo? Much more involved than I thought. But it is... Um, I'm not sure how this paper is handled in this water. Um, this is a drive around driveway. And this right here that you can't see, that's carport. So I'll paint Robert's little Kia in there because he usually parks in there. Crumbs from my Girl Scout cookies. That was so much fun to be able to get that when we took the car. I got five different kinds of Girl Scout cookies. Y'all can be jealous all you want. I probably go over this with the um, pencils DV DD scent just to smooth it out, but yeah. Okay. The perspective on this is really weird because the driveway you're actually looking down on and then you're looking at the house over there. But I'll draw Robert's little Kia in the carport. He ha has this piece of crap car. That I am not a fan of. I didn't put any windows in it. Oh, I'll let it dry before I do that. Okay. Then this is... a rock flower bed. It goes right up to the edge of that. But the uh, right now, I, I used to go buy um, annuals to put in there, and it would take like six flaps. Well, they've gotten so expensive that I have finally gone ahead and put all perennials in there. So I have um, the most beautiful hostas in there that come back year after year. And they came back really good this year. So actually, I need to go out and um, separate them. But it's wrong time of the year, so I can't do that. And then in the middle of this flower bed, which none of this is to scale, mind you, okay? I'm just making it up as I go along. I'll make it go up. This far is all, but it actually goes up much further because it's all out of perspective. Let me get some cool green here.
this flower bed also has the same little hostas in it, as does the one on that side of the house. I will get some annuals um, to put in just for a little bit of color here and there, but um, truth is, yeah, all that I've pretty much taken out. And of course, in the middle here is a huge oak tree, but I'm just not going to put it in because it would cover the whole house. And I'll draw with pencil. Some of the details. I think it's dry enough. I can put my hand in there now. Okay, you guys, I want you to try this on your own. I just goofed up my roof up there. That's okay. No, you know what? I'll get out the pencils for some of this detail. It'll be a whole hell of a lot easier. And again, I'm working with limited tools here. All right, you guys, we're 20 minutes into this eclipse thing, and I can't tell any difference, okay? Just so you know. And Devin is going to be moving into her dream house here shortly. That's awesome that it's already ready. Just seems like you just started that, Devin. And here we are. Move in day. I'm trying to think. I think these windows actually slide sideways. These never get opened. And these I know slide sideways. And my door and all the trim is black. Oh, I forgot the windows on that door. Oh, well. Actually, the door goes like this so I can draw the windows in. Because it's... panels like that is what it actually is. They closed the schools for the eclipse. Are you hosing me? That's redonkulous. Okay. I'll draw the wheels and Robert's little mobile here. The part you can see. Um, let me think. In the upstairs windows, You can't see anything because I never, hardly ever open them because after I get up in the morning, I rarely go up there. I'm trying to smooth out this paint a little bit. And I'm just making it more olive green. And I'm trying to think what it looks like from the outside because I think I have shutters on those windows, but I have blue drapes, so I'm going to put blue. I have to see where they're really dark. C37. So 
So these if you're looking from the outside are just going to be dark blue. I'm really having to think about this. Down here. It's tan and then these are open, but there are tons of awesome little plants hanging in the windows down here. Because I have tons of plants out here. And then there's um, a shelf on this one that has little plants on it. And then this one, oops, wrong color. This one has... A great big jade plant over in the corner. And this has Robert sitting in the window. Or me. I'll put us both in here, okay? You can't see both of us, but yeah. That's where we're sitting in the house. Look at I goofed that up too. Let me hit it with a heat gun real quick. I'm really going to have to go take a picture now and post it so that you guys can see how accurate or inaccurate I am. Is that you, Didi? Let me go ahead because this is all asphalt as well. The only thing is you really can't see it, but it's just a continuation of the driveway through here. And then I'm going to do the green um, with a pencil because it's easier. But I satisfied the prompt. Hi, Joan. Anybody else I missed coming in? Sorry, I've been really intent on paying attention to this painting. Because it's really hard um, to paint like a first grader. Just saying. Okay, it is Dee Dee. Saw this post and while we're at it, don't look directly at me either. I asked if it was her and she answered me on the text. You're a goofball, Dee Dee. Um, and while we're at it, don't look directly at me. Oh, about the eclipse. They're telling you don't look directly at the eclipse, which is good advice. But... Um, she said, and while we're at it, don't look at me either, directly at me either. Yeah, I'll do that to the Eclipse page, Dee Dee. All right, let me get out. I got a mess here. How the hell did I mess everything up so quick? Where's my cool pencils? We'll get out. And Robert worked so hard on this yard, you guys. Um, he really does. He likes a nice looking yard, so. Oh, and I have to add something. Maybe I'll add it with pencil because it's going to be pretty small. But Robert does do a really good job with the yard. And this year I hired a company to come in and fertilize and, and weed. 
so he didn't have to do it. But I have to say, I wish at this point I could undo it because they came one day while we were gone. We'd gone to Joplin that day and we got home before they were done. Right. And I said, oh, good. They're, they're here. Well, now he's out there walking the yard every day. And if he finds a weed, oh, my God, it's not working. Blah, blah, blah. It's like, shut up. It's been a week. <laughs> like, oh, my God, shut up. So I hope I don't live to regret hiring that lawn service to do part of his work because it didn't work fast enough. Now, mind you, if he had um, put out the weed killer, it wouldn't have worked this fast either. Hi, Mark. I only said hi because I saw Didi say hi. It's a little hard to work. Actually, uh, no, it doesn't, I guess. There is grass in front of one side of it. And then the grass goes all the way down. And there's some big trees in here, too, that I could put in. But at the side, oh, right now there's a beautiful pink dogwood that Jim and I um, planted the first year we lived here. And it's I should go get a picture of it right now because it is so pretty. I don't know why it blooms after um, all the other dogwoods, but it does. And nobody said this drawing had to be awesome okay just saying i should draw a few weeds in here just to make robert happy so that's really what it looks like and i honestly do love it here i can't think of any place else i'd rather live and keep in mind i moved here from colorado and i still would rather live here in this house. So there's a couple things I gotta fix real quick. This actually, oops, is part of the house. And then, where's my black pencil? These pencils better go over that crap I blew, do underneath it. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Here's how I'm going to wipe this bad boy out. Where's my cool little thing here? I'm going to white out this part of it. pen see if this other one will work any better look at Barbara and they're saying in our house is a very 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 fine house I don't know what we'd do without you, Barbara. I'm glad you're back. Now I'm about ready to scream. We'll just put some little paint in there. I'm going to have to dry this too, so. I obviously need to clean this again. I just used it yesterday. That's what pisses me off. If I was Dee Dee, 
I'd have white paint right here next to me, but I don't have white paint. I'd have to go find it. No, it's not going to work either. All right, we're getting some white paint. That's it. I'm done screwing around with this crap. Give me a second. But this is an important part that I want really bad. Okay, got some white acrylic paint. And I'll get out a little tiny nail brush. I've used the heck out of these nail brushes. There's two things that I bought so impromptu. One was the brushes to um, spread ink all around. And the other one was these nail brushes. And I have to say, I have used the heck out of both of them and I love them. So for that little $10 or whatever I spent, it was so worth it. So worth it, can't tell you. We'll try and smooth it out as best we can. It's not fine art, and I'm probably the only person who will ever see this. All right, that's good enough. Got out a little bit too much white paint, but we'll save it just in case we might need it. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I just thought of something else that I can use it for. I'll actually put Windows in Robert's little mobile here that had to go get its brakes fixed. And actually, if you guys are familiar with old Sportages, he has a hard top that goes like this. Bought special. for the stupid little car. All right. Let me hit it with a heat gun. We'll finish that and we'll move on to something else. Was it worth it? Of course, Mark. I get to hang out with you guys. Of course it's worth it. drawing while I do a couple other things. Um, draw the rocks at the edge of the lake. And you can't see them on my side because of the slope of the earth. And then let's put some greenery. I'll just use this. I'm really going to have to clean these paints up when I'm done. Okay, I should do it Dee Dee's way, but I'm just going to water down some of this little white paint. There's actually a big boat dock in here, but I'm not going to put it in. And then more green. And starting about this time of year, there is another house over here, but um, the trees actually make it really hard. You know it's there, but 
um, you can't really see it. And actually, the way I've drawn that, I'm just going to paint it the same as the house. It is the same color as the house. But from that angle, you'd only be seeing roof because both of them are A-frames. The barn, I call it the barn. The garage and the house, they're both A-frames. So we'll do the sides like this. And we'll paint this just brown because um, if the door's open, you can see in there. But I had the door painted to match the building. Okay. That's good. All right. Let me hit that with a heat gun real quick, and we're going to call this bad boy done. Here's me and Robert sitting in the house. I'm not sure how these pencils are going to work on top of the paint, but we're going to, oh, we're going to throw our pencils and go for it. <clears throat> I know I'm going to put my hand in something and look where I messed up that doesn't even bother me. And the number of stars and stripes aren't going to be correct, but y'all know what the hell I'm doing here. So don't email Dee Dee. Oops, sorry. These pencils work pretty nice. They're smoother than I thought they would be. So that's awesome. Now I get a white pen that isn't going to want to work. What is going wrong in my life? I might just need a new pen. There's my dream house. Now I have to go find that pencil that I threw because it's the black one that I need. There it is. Dropping paint, dropping pencils. Ugh. All right, and then just for the hell of it, let's... And the flower beds are made out of Arkansas stone, which some of you may be familiar with. They're all different shapes, but they all sit on top of each other and they look way cool. What else was I going to do? There was one other thing. Yeah, I think right now. There was something else I was going to do to finish it. Very folk art. Yep, this is my little house. And I will. I won't do it here. But I'll come back and work on some of these pages. And I'll make the lake look a little better. 
Can't think. Cannot think. Okay, let's check in with the eclipse here. It looks like it's just an overcast day, but I can't. Um, I can't tell. Your aunt and cousin flew to Texas to see the eclipse. Are you kidding? That's crazy. And I will smooth all this black out where the asphalt is. All right, somebody else. Let me pick somebody. Ruth, did I say hi to you, by the way? I didn't even, I don't think I saw you come in. Give me a number and I'll go work on that page. But yeah, I'll, I'll fix this up. Oh, I know what I was going to do. I was going to take the brown pencil. Oh, black will be fine. But up here, there is like a little door. It looks like a door, but it's not really a door. And then the house itself is made out of cedar planks. So, and um, I'm doing this without a ruler. So I get extra credit for that. Okay, please. Somebody give me some extra credit around here. I honestly wish that they had not painted this house. It would look way cool if um, it was stained cedar. But the nice thing about cedar is um, you never have to worry about any kind of pest. All right, there we go. It's a faux door. Yeah, it just looks like I don't. There might have been something there at one point. Flo, I don't know. Okay, ten. It, there might have been something there, but it looks like a door that's just not a door. All right, number ten. This better be good. Draw a wild garden. No, that's eleven. Ten is over here. Draw or paint the rest of the tiger stripes. Perhaps add a background. Well, we could do that. Tiger stripes. Hmm. All right. What the heck? Um, do I want to use the pencil? I think the pencil will be easier. Well, I know. Let's start with the black paint over here. I'm going to have to move up a little bit, aren't I? Um, the thing about black watercolor is it's never really black, you know? Let me get some white here. So we'll have some gray and some black. Let me move over so you can see what I'm mixing over here. Okay. If we're looking at the tiger's back, I think the stripes actually go both ways. Probably look more like a zebra. This is crazy because I don't really have a plan. I don't know what I'm doing. Which implies that there are times that I do know what I'm doing. And that's kind of ridiculous. I get the basic shape with the... Um, watercolors and then I'll go in with the pencil
This one's kind of easy. I like this. No thought required. I don't think this really looks like tiger stripes, but they started it. So, oh, and Dee, don't let me forget. I got to go back and amend my story. Now it got all quiet in here, waiting for this eclipse to happen. I can't believe people got on a plane and went somewhere to watch the eclipse. They could have come to my house and I'd have just charged rent. Okay, it seems like maybe it's getting a, it, it really just looks overcast to me is what it looks like. So, hate to disappoint. Um any eclipse freaks, but I'm not seeing anything real special yet. But I'm figuring that the um, the time when it's going to be most apparent here should be about, well, we're getting on toward 1.30 because they, according to the internet, um, it was going to be between 12.30 12.33 and 3.09, I think is what it said. I hope I'm not sorry that I ended up working in the book. I don't think I will be. And really, who cares? Would I end up paying for the book anyway? I don't remember what it cost, but... I'm sure I didn't go overboard on um, the cost of the book. This could just as easily end up in the trash as not. That's why I don't worry about anything I do. Because the people at the dump don't know me. Well, they might know me. They get all my trash. Shit, they probably know more about me than I know about me. Really. I have to go. Okay, bye, Joan. Go have a funny eclipse day. I will probably turn on the news later on just to see how crazy people got. Ooh, on. I think they blow all of this stuff so out of proportion that when it finally gets here, you're just like, who cares? It wasn't that big a deal. Or is that just me? Is that just bah humbug me? If it doesn't have flashing neon, I can't get too excited.
you think I should have gotten out a um, reference picture for my tiger stripes? I think they're okay just the way they are. It actually is kind of fun. Like I was talking about the um, wreck this journal um, to just pick a page and um, have no idea what you're going to do. Um, I am kind of glad that I did ch just choose limited products. Okay. And look, just about enough paint too. Here we go. Here's our tiger stripes. Now I'll go back in with the black pencil. And the first ones I did should be pretty dry. That one's still kind of wet. Oh, well. Still don't notice a big difference, guys. Are you guys noticing anything where you are? And then tell me where you are so I can pay attention when I hear about it later. I think the further east you are, the later it is, right? Janet, can you show Ruth the cover? Oh, okay, sorry. Um, it's 365 days. Let me pull out. 365 days of feel-good art. There's a bunch of these 365 days books. Um, and they're kind of fun because you get 365 prompts of just something to do. Like nine is, it can be relaxing to spend time being creative and mindful, obviously. Spend some time peace, peacefully coloring these circles. That one could be really fun too. But I had to do tiger stripes. And then um, if you came in late, one of the things... I decided was that I would, um, and I already cheated because um, I did use a fountain pen for the first prompt. But it was worth it because I had to write impromptu about creativity or something like that. I don't know. I just made it up. And I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this because I'm going to go back to the story. So if you came in late, you'll be able to, I'll read this story that, or the, what I wrote. This pencil actually works really nicely on this watercolor.
And I also showed at the beginning the um, Carrie Smith book, Wreck This Journal. I did that. I didn't realize it was 2017. And you know what? Jim wasn't alive then. Jim died in 2000. Um, but yeah, I can't believe that it was 2017 that I actually did that. There's no rhyme or reason what I'm doing here. Just adding some color, which hopefully will add some dimension. One kind of dark one. Now I'm altering what they gave me. That's probably totally cheating. Don't care. And um, doing like wet on wet on this paper would be really, really hard. The last eclipse was 2017. Cool. All right. Got to go back and read what people are saying. What snap bossy butt? Oh, okay, sorry. It does have more of a zebra vibe, but they started it. All right, let's go back. I can take the paper towel out of here now. Um, the prompt was take some time to write freely. Perhaps describe how art or being creative makes you feel. So. If you want to hear early, I'll read it. If I didn't have art as a hobby slap, slash passion, I would probably turn on the TV and watch mind-altering news programs that lie constantly and make me hate my fellow man. Because I found a group of amazing artists online, I sit around loving life and the fibs. Today is total eclipse in parts of America. Hope we all live through it. Um, all right, Dee, Dee where I'm gonna, I, I'll write small. I'll look at the little um, text that she set. And while we're at it, don't look. Hmm. Directly. At me either. Did he made me do it? It's pitch black in Eagle Pass, Texas. Okay, how far is Eagle Pass for me? Well, that's way far south. Eagle Pass is way far south. There was one in 2921. 2921? They know that's going to happen in the future. I want to think it's the future, bossy butt. Would you just let me? So, and I, I'll finish the border later on. And um, 
Yeah, I didn't really do much of a flip through this book. We just jumped right into it. But I'll just flip around and give you some random stuff. Okay. Here, design a pair of trainers, which I think is just tennis shoes. Hi, Joe Lou. Typo, typo. This is fill the page with swoops of green using a variety of materials. See, I would already be in trouble because I don't have as much materials. Here's look online for a live stream of coral reef and draw what you see. It can be relaxing to watch the colorful fish move about. Now, that one would be fun, but impossible while I'm streaming. This one is add funny animals or characters to these eyes. The sillier, the better. Have a giggle. Create a cartoon sketch of your day. Oh, my God. This one, I'm just if we get a total eclipse here, I'm just going to paint it black. Just black. Total eclipse. Continue the pattern. Now, these are always really fun where they give you a start, like kind of the one I just did. They give you a start, and it's zero pressure, and it's fun, and you get to use all your cool supplies. Add color to this abstract scene using a variety of different materials or patterns. That one would be fun for Zen Pangle, but I would have to break my minimal material rule. Draw the rest of this image. That'll be see. There's a lot of really cool prompts, and these are relatively inexpensive books, but I think you more than get your money's worth in just entertainment alone. I mean, I don't know how much I paid for Wreck This Journal, but whatever I paid for it, and even though I haven't um, finished it, to me, I've more than gotten my money's worth out of it. Because partly just looking back at it today made me happy. And I want to work in it again. So, yeah. All right. So, let's see. I finished the tiger stripes. And then this was the second one I had. Draw your dream house, which is, in fact, the house I live in right now. And I did pretty good. I, Since you guys have seen this, I probably will go post a picture. You won't see the back. You know, because I'm actually looking down at what you would see if you could see beyond the house. Um, but this is fairly accurate. The perspective sucks, but it's fairly accurate. So good on me. And then what was the other one? It was early in the book, wasn't it? Where's my tiger stripes? And they make it look like you can do wet on wet on these pages. I'll try one. Maybe this one. This is turn the colorful blobs into anything you like. Um, but this is not watercolor paper. So your results with watercolor are going to be pretty minimal. And then see the warpage. You have to get used to the warpage. And the warpage won't bother me. You know, if, if it did, I would maybe spray it with a little bit of water. And um, then set something heavy, heavy on it paint it black, right? Because I'm waiting for this total eclipse stuff. I'm ready. I want it to happen. It is maybe getting a little darker. But Eagle Pass, Texas is pretty far south. Did I do okay on the tiger stripes? Can we call that done? And then I'll pick another one. Or I'll let you guys pick another one. I got to wreck this journal, but no way I'm tearing a page out and bury it. See, Ruth, I didn't do any of that. Um, anything that you had to put something in your mouth or spit on it or something like that. I, I just don't see the point in it. I mean, yeah, I just don't see. Look at fart. <laughs> That's a 12-year-old boy stuff. Not here yet. Should be 20%. Okay. I was thinking that too, Devin, that um, that if I want it to look like a tiger, I need to do more yellow or something. So, but this one, I still think about this. Draw a continuous nonstop line, and I filled the whole page up. Look at that. Can focus, you freak. There you go. That's a continuous line. What the heck is that doing? Camera doesn't like that. So get it out and do it. All right, since we're using minimal products, 
let's I'll go ahead and finish it like Devin told me to because she scares the snot out of me. I swear I have to do what she says. But she's not being bossy. She's being aggressively helpful, okay? How long do you think your continuous line took you to do? You know, I don't know, Devin. Um, I honestly, I don't know. I'm going to do this two-tone. I'm going to go over it lightly with the orange pencil. Yeah, I don't, I have no clue. I know I'd sit and, I'm not a good TV watcher. That's a problem for me, is the only show that I sit and watch is um, Survivor. And I'll sit and watch it because the competitions are good. And um, yeah, and you have to be looking at people's faces so you know who to hate. Um, <laughs> but as a rule, I'll turn on just some mind-numbing crap on TV and then listen to the dialogue, but I don't actually watch. So that's why I can sit and draw a continuous line for 48 hours and um, feel like I've done something. But also, it's very relaxing. Oops, that's a little bit orange. And my limited supplies are these inexpensive superior watercolors and the woodless um, pencils that Dee Dee sent me. And there's only 12 in the pack, so I've only got 12 colors to pick from. So I either have to be inventive and mix them or do without. You know what I wish the eclipse did? Made you not hungry so that you didn't have to fix dinner. <laughs> Why can't we have one of those? One day a year. Just nobody's hungry. You don't have to eat. And these um, pencils are softer lead than I actually thought. So that's kind of a cool thing. And I cut my fingernails and I have monkey hands now. That always makes me happy. And I have Girl Scout cookies, which also makes me happy. All right, let's see what a little bit of yellow over it. I pulled you guys out, so maybe I'd rather have the brown. I only got one brown, so. Okay, I think it's getting a little darker, you guys. If it gets really dark here, I will turn off my lights and open the... Um, um, what do you call it? The shade. Because I pulled down the shade when I streamed to keep the natural light out because my camera seems to do a little bit better <clears throat> when I keep the natural sun out. All right. I'm not going to do the whole thing with this. I'm just going to get up here in the corner. Brown's pretty nice, actually. Okay. Enough of that. Dallas just went dark. <coughs> okay. Dallas by car. 
is six hours for me. If you're driving normal, it's four hours. It, it's four hours for me. <laughs> no, about, yeah, I get there quicker because I take a shortcut. But yeah, six hours. I'm six hours from Dallas. Look at you guys knowing all the news. That's awesome. The Traders is a really great reality show. There are several U.S. The Traders. Is it on broadcast TV? All right. Somebody needs to give me a number. Dee Dee, give me a number. It's raining here in Dixie. No, I'm fair. I may not get the total eclipse, Devin, but I'm just very close to where they're saying it's going to be total. Very, very close. 57. 57. 56 has created a different picture on each colored square. You may like to use cut paper. 57 is draw your favorite ingredients. Well, ingredients for what? Food? How am I going to draw a pile of sugar? <laughs> um, draw your favorite ingredients. Okay, what kind of ingredients? Food ingredients, do you guys think they're talking about? Food ingredients or ingredients to make a bomb or ingredients to poison somebody? You know, like what exactly? Just draw coffee cups, exactly. You're watching it on the net, cool. All right, I'll have to um, look it up. It's not sneaking up on dusk. It would be eerie if I didn't know what was going on. Um, yeah, I there's definitely something different. But, yeah, it, it'll get darker, I promise you. The ingredients of peanut butter cups, Barbara Clark. Hi, by the way. Um, peanut butter cups. Oh, that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. All right. I can pull you guys down a little bit. All right. So, um, I'm going to think about this just a minute. Let me get something to drink. Garlic butter. That's a good one. Arsenic. <laughs> Working in the look at Barbara. She's got a song for freaking everything. You need lunch. Are you hungry, Joe Lou? I ate. Well, I ate muffins before, but then right before stream, I ate. Do see those? I bought five different kinds, you guys. Girl Scout cookies have gotten very expensive, I have to say. But it's for a good cause, so I don't mind. Um, yeah, I don't mind paying for them. But in reality, yeah, they're a little pricey. But they're so good. How could you not? Okay, give me my pencil. We're going to start with the... We'll have a corner of the pan showing up here. Now, mind you, I've never made a peanut butter cup, so I have no clue um, how to do this. But you would definitely have... Now, I'm making this up. I could get out a reference photo, but I'm not going to.
um, I don't even know who makes peanut butter cup. Is it um, Hershey's? <laughs> Hi, Jasper. And I don't know what a cocoa plant looks like either. So we're just going to do a bunch of cocoa beans. What we think is cocoa beans. Keep in mind, I only have very few little products to work with. I'm not even getting out my circle template. There you got your pan, your Hershey's, your Skippy, and then we'll just act like there's a bowl, like they're sitting on the bowl, which could not happen, but we're not going to worry about that. All right, let's see. I Okay, this will... Oh, did I put the, all right. I'm going to lighten up my drawing a little bit, but not too much. Okay, bye, bossy butt. Go be aggressively helpful wherever you go. Okay, I'm going to pick up some of the graphite, but probably not all of it. And it's going to be a pretty simple drawing, just like the other one. But we're making peanut butter cups. And I'll do the lettering. With the pencils. This is almost like draw your day, you know, and I love draw your day. Okay, so there's the Skippy. And then Hershey's, I think actually Hershey's is like reversed out. So, um, I'm just thinking the best way to do that. I think I'll do it in the brown. I'll try my best. To draw and draw and try and draw um, reverse lettering and then erase out. Probably harder than even I think. Oops.
check it out. This first grade art is working out for me today. You need butter? Yeah, you do need butter. All right. We're going to put... Let's see. We'll try and draw it three-dimensional. How about that? A big old fat boy. Stick of butter. Leaning on the edge of the bowl. Probably would be fatter than that. Let me try and draw it a little fatter than that. Okay, doesn't matter that the Skippy would be much bigger than that, but we're not worried about perspective here. If I worried about perspective, I'd get a reference photo. In there. You like there? There's butter. Butter and peanut butter? Why not? The more the merrier. All right. Where's the, where'd I put the, geez, somebody needs to check my brain. Where's my, um, yeah, it's definitely getting darker. Definitely a little bit darker. Now I lost my paintbrush. All right. You guys see okay? You want me to pull you guys in? Okay, I should check my memory and see if Skippy does have anything red on it or if I just dreamed this up. And I do have a little cheat sheet for these colors. So that's about the color of peanut butter, isn't it? We're C40. All right. Third one up. All right, Sharon, are you playing along or did you just choose something you wanted to do? Sharon has this book as well, as does Dee Dee. And I guess Beth Schuler's group has been working out of it. All right, that's going to be a little dark, but that's okay. There's a little skippy. 
Hershey's obviously is way, way dark brown. I guess I should clean that up before I put the book in it. <clears throat> I do know that Hershey's packaging is brown. But I haven't bought any in a long, long time. I am going to erase that lettering here in a minute. And if you expect that your um, watercolor on this paper is going to be real smooth, it won't be. I promise you. But just don't worry about it. You know, some more free advice. I'm full of free advice today. Could have just as easily done this with the pencil, probably. But leave it to me to make it harder. I like the look of the watercolor. Um, kind of like draw your day. I, I just like that look. I think it looks way cool. I might have to look up a cocoa bean, though, because I really, I have no clue what they even look like. So I won't even have, because it's Hershey's and peanut butter, I won't even have to write down what its ingredients for. Don't you think it's going to be pretty obvious? And if I get watercolor down in the spine of the book and it turns other pages color, I don't care about that either. Because that's one of the things you're going to have to deal with when you work in the book. Things will move and spread and, and you just can't worry about it. And I can smooth it out somewhat with a pencil later if I want. But if it's not smooth, I don't really care. <laughs> it's not eclipsed here yet. Carbondale, Illinois? Maybe doing it could be better, Janet. It might be, Joe Lou. I don't know. Um, it's one of those things that I um, I set myself up to use limited palette, like either like just the pencils and the watercolors. That's it. That's all I get to use, and I have to figure it out. Um, and I'm okay. I'm okay with any of it. All right. So, the pan itself, 
All right. Did I do black on here? I don't know. I use the table. Um, because I don't have a gray. I'll get out as much black. And then the only time I really use white in watercolor is for mixing. So, um, I'm going to make a nice gray and because I don't want to mix it multiple times. I hope I have enough here. Add a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of water. All right. I set this aside and see on this page over here, because I'm working in the book, I drop some water spots. Now I just get to deal with those in the future. And that's fine with me too. I'm fine with that. What do you call it? Character? That's what's going to give it all character. And I'm going over in the dip, so if it runs, oh well. That's life in the big city. Maybe we're not going to get as much total eclipse as I thought. But boy, if you looked at the map, it looked like we were. And what they put on the internet of how much of the sun was going to be blocked out. It looked like it was going to be a lot. So I could be wrong. I, honestly, I didn't even think about it until Dee Dee started doing eclipse art this morning. It was not really even on my radar. We'll let that dry real good, and then I'll put the recesses in. Hopefully, I can do that. There's the pan. Now we need some. Probably should clean that up. Yeah, I think I will. Um, my water is really, really dirty. Um, here's... Some yellow for the butter. And I'll paint it and then put the butter, right butter on top of it. And because butter is pretty creamy. Oh, you know what else I could have done? Is I have a pastel set of these. Um, and I'll bet there's a real, no, there's not. To say that I probably could do the pastel, but this is fine. A little bit too yellow still, but we're going to work with it because we can. All right, there's our butter. Okay, I think what I'm going to do <clears throat> I'm going to leave the space like that like it's all just leaning or sitting on the bowl and I'm going to do the background brown, but I would have to Yeah, Hershey's cocoa. Is there some place on the internet that you can look up? But I think I'm going to do the background like a wood table, like 
all the ingredients are um, sitting on a wood table. But, 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 but. Let's see, where's my little cheat sheet here? All right, I'll use a different brown. I'll use C3, C39. Which is fourth one up. Okay, we'll use this one. Oops, I probably should have ended there. Oh, well. All right, now since I did that, I think I'll just do it like it's all just laying on the table. Not draw a bowl or anything at all. Could have drawn a spoon too, or a mixer. See, as you're getting into it, you start thinking of a whole bunch of other stuff. I am gonna draw that more like a candy bar. You can tell I've never made peanut butter cups because it's kind of like um, cookies I do occasionally bake cookies. Um, there's a whole aisle of them at Walmart. Why am I going to um, bake them? Hmm? When there's a whole aisle. And really, I other than Girl Scout cookies that I just bought, I'm not a huge cookie person. Um, but Robert is. Robert likes cookies from the deli because he's a spoiled brat well I think if I was going to have total eclipse I would have already had it See, I just went off on the page behind it. Oh, well. That's the price of doing business. Live on stream. And rough on the table won't bother me because I'll just build it into um, grain or something, you know, the grain of the wood or whatever. So all right, there's my favorite ingredients. All right, let's get some more little black out here. Get it really thin. We'll see how wonky. Oh, you know what? Using black pencil, 
It's in Indiana now. Okay. I am trying to be a little careful with the circles. Okay, so let's say we're looking, I suppose, if you're looking down on it, We're just going to do it like this. The thing is, to get the shadows and the highlights and everything, you really need a reference photo. I don't think your brain can create that. About some things it can, like a circle or something like that. But when you're doing depth like this, probably not. You know, if I wasn't doing, if I hadn't just limited myself, I would have used circle templates for that. Okay. Page is still pretty wet. I haven't sharpened these pencils yet. Oops, got it in the paint a little bit. Um, what did I do with the, my brown one? Okay, this would be like a muffin pan with a little... peanut butter cup thing in it, right? In case you're wondering, what is she doing? The pan is already lined with your little... I don't know what... Cupcake liners or whatever you call them. Only these are peanut butter. Liners. How could it have been in Dallas and Indiana in that length of time? Fluted. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's not traveling that fast. All right. Let's... Do I need any more black? Nah, if I do, I'll get it out. Um... Let's get our brown pencil out. Oh, Ruth, are you still here? Because Ruth had asked me about using those lettering guides. I'll do it for butter. That's not cheating. This is pretty much how I use it. 
block letters. Just like that. Is it? Did that answer your question? I guess is what I need to know. Let's see, a stick of butter is one quarter cup, right? Okay, did that answer your question, Ruth? Well, the earth rotates about a thousand miles an hour. <laughs> Google is my friend. Oh my God, Dee. And rotates around the sun at 67,000 miles an hour. Wow. It's a wonder we're all not down here being dizzy. Okay, just because I don't know really what a cocoa bean looks like, I'm just going to color it this light brown color because I assume they're brown. And they probably are not even on the packaging because I just made this crap up as I went along. So... Yeah. Didi, I like these pencils. Thanks. You guys probably can't see this in the camera much. But for quick sketching like this, these are nice pencils. They're not bad at all. All right, stop with the pop-ups. Hi, Miriam. All right. Um, I need the... Eraser. Get the writing out of there because by now it's annoying me. Okay. now because I like um, on the draw your day pen and ink with watercolor I'll go ahead and use my ink with it and this will actually um, cover up a lot of crappy stuff so
And it honestly is a little bit hard to draw in the book. But that's okay. I don't care. I'm going to work in the book because I can. This pen does not like writing on um, watercolor. I've learned that before, and I keep insisting on doing it because I'm not the brightest bulb in the marquee. I'm sorry I've missed so much chat. It's hard to work and um, do all this at once, you know. Uh, come on. I'm not asking that much of you. Oh, I forgot to color in the peanut. Come on, Pan, just a little bit more, please. All right, where's the black pencil? Okay, I'm going to try these woodless. I'm going to go ahead and sharpen this woodless pencil now. I'm going to try this new. Didi, you told me to put it on two. I didn't necessarily like that. I felt like I was sharpening all the time, so I went to three. So, yeah, they sharpen nice. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm like Didi. I like that little sharpener a lot. I'll hold this up if you want to see the little detail but for just now I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of shading And I'll do the um, wood grain later. I'll have some little chores to do after a while. And I'm going to go over that Hershey's, I think, with a white pen. If I can find one that will freaking work around here. New York City's time to freak out. I mean, enjoy the eclipse. 
Okay, now this thing wants to write a little bit. So I can clean up this Hershey's a little bit. But I don't have to put you guys through that pain. I actually did better than I thought. Oh, I need a little bit of brown. Urgh. I think I used the darker one. <clears throat> Get a little bit of dark. Ugh. See, now I'll sit here and dink around with it, and I don't really want to do that. When you're done, you're done. Stop it. Right? Right. Okay, quit dinking, quit dinking. I like it. Actually, you know what? I thought I was going to like... I don't know how this is going to do sitting right on top. And I'll have to come back in probably and um, make those lines. But I want this to stand out a little bit more. So we'll just add some of the dark paint. And honestly, I'd like this a whole lot better if I'd have gotten out my circle template and used it. Just saying. But I'm going to leave it. I hope that didn't wreck it too much. I think it looks better. What I'll do is clean up a little bit of the excess paint. That's better. All right. I'll set that, let that dry for a little bit. Time here, the sun will be eclipsed for several hours. <laughs> you think, Miriam? All right, I won't have time to do another one, so if you want, I'll just go back and work on that border. Thanks, Barbara. Well, if you saw the sun right now, Miriam, that would be something. It really would be, wouldn't it? That was fun.
I liked it. Let me hit it with a heat gun. Well, I'll just pick it up with a paper towel. So you want me to read some more of the prompts just so you guys can have an idea of what you'd be getting into. Let me move the camera back out a little bit. And on this one underneath, like I like having that in the book. And then this one down here, I can just add color. So I'm not sure if I would choose kind of the same color scheme to go down or if I do something totally different. My guess is something totally different. Thanks, Flo. Thanks, Dee Dee. This one is design a teapot. Consider the shape, materials, and colors. Okay. I think I will. Let me see if it's right here. I know it is somewhere. Okay. I'm, I'm going to cheat on this one, and I'm not going to design my own teapot. I will probably, a few years ago, um, I got to go to, like, one of those Mary Englebright stores, and I bought a bunch of these like little teapots. I probably am going to replicate this. And I have some little coffee cups that if I had a Christmas tree, you could hang on your Christmas tree. So I just put them on my dining room table. But yeah, design a teapot. I'm going to replicate this one. Because I love it so much. And it sits right here on my... Um, bookshelf where I keep my stamps. I think I have two of them. Okay, here's the other one. Holy crap, let me dust it. Jeez, what a pig I am. It's behind my sock monkey stamp, so you don't see it all that clearly. Oh, maybe I'll do this one because it's so pretty, but it looks Christmassy. All right, hang on. I'm dusting it. Or this one. Little tiny baby teapots. So, but this one has holly in that blue, but I could do something else. So I'm going to, um, thank you, Ruth. So I'll probably will do that for the teapots just because if you can't beat them, join them. And let's just do a random. And this page is cool because you can just fill it with loops. So probably what I would do on this page is I get out all my Prisma colors and just close my eyes, grab one, and that's what's going to be the loops. I know, Mary Engel brought, brought teapots. At Christmas, I'll bring out the little cups because they're so cute. You drool. You look at them and you, your mouth just starts drooling all over the place. So the loops will be fun. This one is create a drawing of an object using your non-dominant hand. I hate these kind of prompts. I'm sure that they're beneficial in some way. I just don't understand what they are. So if somebody understands the benefit of drawing with your wrong hand, because I, I am not ambidextrous. Okay, just saying. Okay, this one is cover the page with interesting shapes. Artist Henry Matisse sometimes filled a space with joyful abstract colorful shapes he often used cut paper but you could use any material you like this could end up being a fun fun page and knowing me i probably will choose circles just because i love freaking circles this one is explore color blending using colored pencils add a color to each circle so that your colors blend where they overlap perhaps add more circles and create more blends okay I've got about 20 minutes and I've got pencils. Let's do it. Somebody choose a color. Tell me what color to start with. I have to replace the ones that I didn't put back right. All right. And there should be, that should be orange. If you use yellow, magenta, and cyan, those are the three primary colors. Okay, who said it first? Curious said green. I'm going to use the lighter of the greens. And we'll do this top circle. Green. And if you don't know the color wheel well, 
this actually is a really, really good exercise. And I will try and remember which um, product I'm going to use. Here I am using. Because some products are going to behave a little differently and you're not going to have the exact colors. Like this one, I only have 12 colors, so... Oh, come on. Get yourself some room here, goofball. And I don't think it has to be real smooth or anything. And this is just layering to blend, not using a blender or anything like that. And I'll go back and chat and see, because we could end up with some ugly right here, right now. Okay. So let's write down what we did. This is, use the lettering guide this is Koenor Woodless Okay, so I'm going to put number one. Because if you don't write your recipe, you can't recreate it. And I'll say that Miriam chose sap green. And whoever screamed out next in chat will be the next one that I use. Sharon also said green. Kat said green. Barbara Clark said purple. Oh, that's going to be bad news, Barbara. Didi said blue. Let's do blue because purple, that, it, purple and green is not going to work. So let's choose the blue and I'll use the lighter of the blue. The blue, this blue is really pretty. I'll do the purple down here. Of course, Purple is, has a lot of blue in it, but we'll do it anyway. What the hell? Okay, like, oh, the eclipse, it's over in like 20 minutes. So that's as much as you got, Robert Bond. Apparently, it wasn't as close as I thought. So this is um, just called light blue. So 
poor Robert's been sitting around waiting for the eclipse and it didn't happen. Sorry, Robert Vaughn. Dee Dee. Light blue. All right, and then we're going to do three purple. I'll show you what would happen with the green and the purple since I made an executive decision here. Here's the green. You're going to get a really ugly gray. It shows up fairly well on the um, camera, surprisingly. But if you want um, a nice gray, choose two colors opposite each other on the color wheel. Purple and yellow make a good gray. All right. Blue and purple should work well together. And then there's no color that we can mix with um, green and purple that is going to work well. So um, I'll just choose the next color in chat and we'll end up with something kind of ugly. Ugly. Can't believe it's, what, April 8th already? Ugh. Jamie will be here next week. He'll be here on Sunday. Jamie and Jill will. The kids aren't coming, but Jamie and Jill will be here on Sunday. So I got a fair amount of stuff to do this week, just getting groceries and stuff like that. Um, and then, you know, I'll make sure the house is nice and clean, but yeah. So next week, I think I will be streaming because I think they'll be working. Um, and if Jill's not working, maybe she'll stream with me. If not, I'll just stream alone, do what I want. Or if they want to go do something, I'll, um, like Dee Dee, I'll just put something on my community page or try and make an announcement at Dee Dee's or something. But usually they come down, all they want to do is fish and work and eat. And hang out. Let somebody else pay the bills. And then what was the next color? Can you see the, the purple and the blue come out pretty nice? All right. Terry Brett said, oh, I got to write down. Terry Brett said red. Oh, red is going to be bad news, but let's do it anyway. So this one is three. And they call this dark violet. And that was suggested by Barbara Clark. Dark Violet. All right, red it is. I haven't used the red, so it's not, it's kind of sharp. That's all right. And the red and the purple should work well together. But the red and the green, garbage. But let's give it a go and see. 
Whether or not I'll add more circles, I don't know. I doubt it. It's probably going to look like brown on camera would be my guess. So now I have a page with four colors on it, which is cool. I'm going to try and work in this book more. So um, I won't do it every week, obviously, but an occasional stream here and there, I'll probably pull out this book and work in it and maybe work on it um, when I'm by myself. Another fun thing that would and they probably have it in this book somewhere is um, to go ahead and shade the circle. Put your highlight on, whatever, whatever. Go ahead and shade it. Ugly is the new beautiful. You think so, Miriam? I have lost my teapot. Oh, my God. How can you lose a teapot, Brenda? You think it was broken? The child is covering for daddy. Oh, there you go. I think you're on to something, Brenda. That is funny. Start your children young. There you go. Janet or Dee Dee, are those pencils some that you can blend with alcohol or mineral spirits? You know, Brenda, I don't know. Let's give it a go real quick because we got a few little minutes here. Um. Here's the red. Anything that has um, wax as its binder, and maybe even oil, um, generally will blend with mineral or dissolve with mineral spirits. Because it's not really blending; it's you're dissolving and mixing the color, color that way. So this has red on it. I got it out and then turn around and put it right back. How you like that? You like that? I suspect it will. I don't know what the binder is in these, and I'm sure the packaging isn't going to tell you. So, yep. All you're doing is dissolving the, um, the binder and leaving the pigment. But, yeah, they, they actually um, dissolve very nicely, Barbara. So that's good to know. Leave a nice, smooth, smooth finish. And see, I didn't use the tip. I used down here. Um, yeah, they actually um, dissolve very nicely. Prismacolors do too. Almost every pencil I have does that I know. Oh, it's fine, Miriam. If you know the answer and I haven't gotten to it, I expect y'all to help each other. Sorry, Robert, you can't even trust NASA. You want me to do orange and yellow? All right, let's. And this whole thing is nothing but um, the lead, okay, because there's no wood around it. So you're getting quite a bit of product in these woodless pencils. Same thing with the Neocolor 2s. That whole thing is nothing but the product. I put it down pretty thick too, so it's having to dissolve a lot of the wax because this feels a little waxy. Yeah, nothing wrong with that, Barbara.
and it leaves a nice, nice color. Can you see that? I'll try and get it up there. So yeah, there's there's a lot of pigment in these pencils, so that's cool. Okay, Dee Dee's leaving early because she came early. It's fun hanging out for this monumental event, right, Dee Dee? We all got hosed. I love the way they look. Yeah, exactly, Barbara. Me too. I I like um, using the mineral spirits. And I use them a lot with the um, Prismacolor art sticks because you can get a big old layer of color quickly that way. Yellow and red would have been a better choice. You want to try yellow and red? We got more paper. We got more pencils. We got more everything. We can do what we want. So you said yellow and red. And I'm not going to put quite so much pigment down so we can see where the blend actually is. You can see there's a little dent in the paper, so I'm going to color that in. And you can see just the layering blend. Let me pull you down just a little bit closer where I've gotten the orange in there. And let me get, now oh, I can use the back of this Q-tip before I throw it away. Okay, there's the yellow up into the red. So yeah, you can blend it really nicely. Because remember, there's no orange there. Two colors blended to make that. And it's a nice, nice orange. I mean, if you needed to, if you didn't have orange in your palette. But this is a good experiment for, um, you know, like if I was using a limited palette like this, and I had to create my own colors. Um, that would be a great way to do it. Usually, after you get a certain amount of experience, you kind of know um, how colors are going to blend, right? But it's still fun to do. I like doing stuff like that. All right. So, I could... Um, I could um, use mineral spirits on this. I got to write down number four was Miss Terry Brett. And they just call this light vermilion. I wonder if they make more, you know, like if they sell sets with more color. Because really, for as much product as you get on this, if you like the way they feel, because they're, they're not as hard lead as the Verithin or the Crayola. Um, they're softer than that. But if you like layering like that, you're welcome, Ruth. Um, you won't be at lives from April 22nd to the end of April. Are you going out spending more money, Barbara, you freak? Whatever you're doing, I hope you have fun. You want me to do mineral spirits on these? Let's do. What the hell? I'm, my time's almost up, but what the heck. I need to go get some new cute. Oh, I have some right behind me. I was going to say, I need to go get some new Q-tips. We're just going to use the blender. I like these um, Q-tips that have the pointy-pointies 
and let's go ahead and smush them up together. What the heck? And I need some more mineral spirits too, but I have a whole big container out in the utility room. I just need to put some in my little baby jar here. The ink in the pen is not only waterproof, it's apparently mineral spirit proof. This looks prettier anyway. All right, blue first. And so that I don't contaminate it, I'll put it on the other side to go over the red. Definitely made brown. Okay, here's the blue one. Doesn't it look a lot smoother? I didn't know that a lot of people didn't know about mineral spirits and um, wax and oil-based pencils. I've done it for years and years. Okay, here's the blue and the purple. Here's the purple. Yeah, I definitely need some more mineral spirits in my little bottle here. Blue's already done. Here's the red. I do know you well, Barbara. I know that you sing like a canary, and I'll never tell you any secrets because you would sing. <laughs> I tell you secrets. I don't have any secrets. I just say whatever I want, and if people don't like it, oh well. Sucks to be them. And obviously, you can see that there's tons of pigment in um, these pencils, and I'm not trying to sell them. Honestly, this is the first time I've tried them. Um, but if I wanted that darker, I just have to press harder and get more pigment down. But yeah, this is not bad at all. I like it. I like it a lot. Put the lid on. Mineral spirits. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, evaporates fast. So now I've gone over my time. I do too, Barbara. Yeah. I do too. And Dee Dee sent them to me. I think she got them um, on Hobby Lobby sale. I don't know where the packaging is. I set it somewhere. Here it is. Um, I know she got them. I think she, well, or maybe it was one of those things that somebody sent her. Now I can't remember. But anyway, Dee Dee threw it in the box. And I know I've seen them at Hobby Lobby. Um, just never bottom but when you consider the amount of pigmented um product you get there i would have to say they're a good value it doesn't say what their um it says ideal blending properties but it doesn't say what the binder is most products do not tell you what their binder is but you can find it on the internet 
also available in woodless graphite pencils. I have some woodless graphite. I like them too. So, all right. Yeah, they're woodless, Marguerite. They're, um, they have no wood. That entire thing, other than a plastic coating on the outside to keep it off your fingers, that's all the lead, the entire thing. Just like a, a Neo Color 2. So, well, I hope you guys had fun with the eclipse and that it made your day better and we're all going to wake up tomorrow and it's not like Y2K all over again. Yeah, that's what I use. So this was fun. I enjoyed doing this. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to sit here for the next 30 minutes or so and finish the border on this. Yeah. So, all right, you guys. Go out and do something fun. Be kind. If you, yeah, just be kind. All right. Love you guys. See you next time. Adios.